Hi, I'm Yejin Kim. I'm trying to solve the problem of superbacteria these days using bacteriophage. Have you ever been to the hospital to get antibiotics? Have you ever been given antibiotics when you caught a cold? As you know, colds are caused by virus, so antibiotics are not the right cure. In this way, the problem of misuse of antibiotics is serious due to the need of doctors and patients. This type of misuse results in antibiotic resistance. We call bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics super, super bacteria. What would it be like to have a day when antibiotics don't work? The skin disease caused by a simple bacterial infection will worsen and die. According to the WHO, 700,000 people die every year from superbacteria. It says 10 million of the world population could die by 2050. To give a brief history of antibiotics, Penicillin appeared and antibiotics such as streptomycin, the next generation, were developed. As it is effective against bacterial infection, antibiotic resistant pathogens have emerged. To solve this problem, FIF tried to solve it in three ways. Try cocktail therapy using a variety of antibiotics together get vaccinated before antibiotic resistant pathogen develop in odd paths. Lastly, what I want to do using bacteriophage instead of antibiotics. For bacteriophage training super bacteria, first, viral investigation. I need to determine what kind is effective and what amount is appropriate. I need to know how much researchers used in the preliminary study. Second, gene recombination. recombination. Promote the ability to recognize bacteria through genetic modification and maximize bacterial body's ability to kill bacteria. Third, test for efficacy. Draw experiment, we check the killing ability and bacterial cognition ability of bacterial party. It also checks how much is appropriate. Fourth, mouse experiments for safety. Antibiotics are administered to infected mouse to confer stability in in vivo. And the effect is measured. It also determines how much is appropriate. It can be worrisome that people do not know what will happen after inoculating living organisms into the human body. In fact, there are cases where the bacterial body was used for cancer treatment. So I don't think you need to worry about this problem. If another problem occurs, it solved the problem by genetically modifying white blood cell or other immune system in our bodies. Once you solve the problem that is expected, like when penicillin first appeared, we were able to conquer bacteria again. Thank you for listening. This is Leverance.